In today's tech tip, we'll cover how to create a custom title block and attach text to a record according to the project or sheet data and have this information be editable through the object info palette. When creating a custom title block, you'll first want to open a blank document. Make sure your scale is set to 1 to 1. Now, set the page size to the size that you normally print your documents to. This can be done under File and Page Setup. For this demonstration, I'll use US Arc D. Next, take the Rectangle tool and draw an outline for your title block. Now I'm going to create outlines for the text fields that I want for my title block. You'll want to repeat this process until you have all the appropriate fields that you need for your title block. Instead of drawing every field, I'm going to fast forward to a more complete title block. Now that I have an outline for my title block, I'm going to add text fields to the proper locations by using the text tool in the basic tool palette. Once I've set the position of my text, I can format it through the object info palette. Now you may be asking yourself, why am I repeating the names of the title block fields? The reason I'm doing this is so I can link the size and font of the text to a record. The included text in this text box can be anything you want but we recommend keeping it to what that field is supposed to be to make organization much easier. Once I've done this, it will retain the format of this text and allow me to use the Edit Title Block option in the Object Info Palette after applying a sheet border. Repeat this process, adjusting the text style and size until you have all the text fields needed for your title block. Also note that if you want to add an image or a company logo, you can do so by going to File, Import, Import Image File, and selecting your image. I'm going to fast forward a bit again to a more complete title block and demonstrate how to link the text to a record. Now that I have the general layout of my title block created, I'm going to create a new record, which is the key factor for enabling the title block fields to be edited through the object info palette. To create a new record, I'm going to go to my resource browser and click on the Resources button and select New Resource In Record Format. Enter a name for your record, for this instance, Custom Title Block. Then click on the New button to create a new record field. The field name allows you to define whether the text field is going to be the same on every sheet layer throughout the whole document or if the text field is going to differ based on the sheet data. If the text field is going to be the same on each sheet, such as the design firm name, you would want to type in P underscore, then the name of the field, Design Firm. In the default field, you would just need to add Design Firm. If the text field is going to change based on the sheet, you would enter S underscore, then the name of the field, for example, Drawn By, and then copy and paste Drawn By into the default field. P underscore for Project, and S underscore for Sheet. You want to repeat this process for all the text fields associated with your title block, excluding the Issue and Revision Notes and Fields, which will be discussed in a moment. For design series users, you'll also be able to add a suffix of underscore SN to indicate a field that should get its value from the sheet number of its sheet layer. A suffix of underscore SD will cause a field to get its value from the sheet title of its sheet layer. If you have Use Automatic Drawing Coordination enabled in the document preferences, updates to these field values will be reflected in the sheet number and sheet titles respectively. Here's an example of what the finished title block record should look like. Next, you'll want to select all of the objects associated with your title block and create a symbol out of it. Go to Edit, Select All, and then go to Modify, Create Symbol. Make sure the option to leave symbol in place is checked, so that you can double-click on the title block to enter the symbol Edit Mode and edit the 2D component. Once you're in the Edit Mode, you'll want to reposition your title block so that it's in the upper left quadrant of the edit mode, and the bottom right corner of the title block is positioned at the 0, 0 origin. This will allow your title block to be placed in the correct location when you add it to your sheet border. Next, select a single piece of text and go to Tools, Records, Link Text to Record. Here you will get a small dialog box listing the field names that you entered into your record. Select the field name that corresponds to the text that you've selected and click OK. This process allows the text that you entered into your title block to be edited through the Object Info Palette. Repeat this process, 
until you have all of the text linked to the correct field names. The reason why issue and revision notes don't need to be linked to a record is because these text fields behave differently and are linked with the sheet border even though they are seen with the title block. It's important to note that if you're going to add revision and issue notes to your title block that work with the issue manager feature database, that you need to have a colon and a lowercase i or r in front of the text field in order for these notes to be edited through the object info palette. Once all the text is linked to the record, exit the symbol. You'll now want to open the standard title block file. Go to File, Open, and open the standard title blocks file located in the main Vectorworks application folder under Libraries, Defaults, Sheet Border Title Blocks. VWX. Make sure to keep a backup of these files because these locations may be overwritten when you install a service pack. Next, you'll go to your resource browser, then click and drag your custom title block into the standard title block file. Note that I have the file that I created my custom title block as my active document in the resource browser. Once you've added the custom title block, go to File, Save, and close the standard title blocks file. To verify that everything works correctly, open a blank document, set your page size, then double click on the sheet border tool to place the sheet border at the center of your page boundary. Then with the sheet border selected, click on the title block button to choose your title block and click OK. Now when you select your sheet border, you'll be able to click on the edit title block button in the object info palette and edit the text fields. As you can see here, my address fields have been updated with the correct text. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical info. Thank you, and have a great day.